This video is sponsored by Renaissance Bank, the best bank in the South. Check them out at renaissancenation.com. Run with speed, run with power, and make the first guy miss, elusiveness. Three of the base level requirements if you're gonna be a starting running back in the Southeastern Conference, really in any Power Five Conference, but especially in the SEC with what you see on defenses. And last season at Mississippi State, Kylan Hill displayed all three of those characteristics with the ball in his hands uh, throughout the year, especially in the early part of the year when he was fully healthy. You watch what he did a year ago. He was as good as anybody, especially when he was healthy, at making the first guy miss, the first tackler to get there. Make that guy miss. And then run with enough power, you break some tackles, you make those extra yards, and at times just strictly outrunning people. And that's a kid who's 215 pounds. You watch him last year. This year is junior season if he's healthy. I really believe he's about to break out. Here he is catching the ball against Kansas State out of the backfield. One where they bring four, he releases, they find him basically uncovered and he gets it in. You know, he showed that ability. Yeah, sm smell the goal line, take on contact, especially when he's healthy. If you want to go back and kind of look at the play, at, at, at maybe how the play happens, you get classic cover three down here in the red zone. Four down, three linebackers, or two in a nickel, but seven in the box. And so soft corner, soft corner, safety in the middle of the field. It's just pre-snap, dead set, cover three, look. State's two by two with a tight end. And it looks to me like uh, he's checking. You know, he doesn't immediately release. Um, it could be called that way. We don't know. We're not in the huddle. But it looks like maybe he checks to see if you get one or two off the edge, he's going to be in protection with the tight end releasing. With tight end and Z receiver releasing inside, it kind of pulls everybody in there. They forget about him. So you find him. And so then it's down to one of the primary jobs of an SEC running back, and that is you got to beat the first guy. In this case, the first guy trying to keep you out of the end zone, but you get past him. And he showed that ability. So as soon as he catches a football right here, he's still trying to get his feet under him to get going forward full speed, but the contact is actually going to get there. Defender has a little bit of an advantage right here. But this is something that he showed throughout the year. Take on the contact so you continue to go forward. And good running backs just, they kind of have that ability. They're born with it, and he gets past him, goes forward into the end zone. Zone run built into what looks like an RPO call. Classic read the end man of the line of scrimmage. He charges the mesh. Quarterback gives. He beats the safety. Got to outrun two to the end zone. He's able to do it. So a lot of good things on the offense on this play. Uh, again, you go back. They're going to leave that end unblocked and read him. Ends are taught a lot of times in certain calls to charge the mesh point, and here he tries to do that. Pre-snap, they give him, again, four down linemen. What looks like three linebackers, seven in the box, and this may be a nickel, but still it's like four, three, soft corners, and safety in the middle of the field like cover three. With the end unblocked, right tackle stepping down, gonna work up to the linebacker to try to seal that back side of this run. Um, it's the right play call for the offense because the linebackers run themselves out of it, um, slanting that way. And so once you get the right read by the quarterback, and this is not easy, but it is the right read, then the only guy that's going to be left is that free safety coming downhill. So right here, one-on-one -on -one with the safety in any situation, whether it's coming downhill or even way out here in the open field, the starting SEC running back is expected to win that every time, to make the safety miss, the first guy miss every time. And here, Hill makes it look easy. A little stiff arm and he's past him. Now you have defender who's upfield with an angle, another who's getting blocked, who's got to find the angle, and it's his job to figure out a way to split them and beat them. And it obviously requires speed to do that, so he turns it on. He outruns 21 and um, sniffs the end zone. He's about five yards out right here, gonna leave his feet and get it in there. Going to catch one out of the backfield in the red zone here against Alabama. Four-man rush. They forget about him. Quarterback finds him late. Sniff the end zone, get it in there. Touchdown. Play got called back for a block in the back. It was a bad call, but let's go back and look here. We've seen this formation some on last year's tape, kind of bunching those two-by-twos. Alabama in the red zone. They're going to play coverage and just rush four. What I see on Alabama defensively is everybody playing zone. 
one of those um, kind of matchup zones where you've got uh, two defenders back here, but everybody else is looking, and I'm going to catch the first one that comes into my zone. Nobody's lined up running with anybody man-to-man. Even the play side, line, where I say play side, the left side linebacker, he's eyeballs here. Is If somebody comes across, I'm going to jump that. Otherwise, I'm going to fall back in to that middle third. Everybody's playing zone except what looks like to me one guy. Now, again, I don't know the call or what they said, but it looks like a bust on the part of the corner for Alabama because he's the only one who runs step for step with his receiver. And this is it right here. So if everybody else, you got flat defender here waiting on his zone, you got, you know, middle defenders here covering that zone, you got deep thirds zones being covered. Somebody is, is responsible for that flat, and normally it would be the corner on that side. So if it's zone coverage and this receiver goes inside, It'd be his job to let him go and go out here and cover his zone. Because as you can see, you got a defender right here waiting on him to run into him. Instead, the corner, I think, is mistaken. It looks like a bust to me that he's trying to play man to man. Everybody else is playing zone. So when he runs, it leaves her back open out of the backfield. Now there's nobody out there in that zone. Quarterback sees it, gets him the football. So right here, again. The first defender he sees, he's expected to make him miss. He's got 10 yards at the goal line. You're the running back. You're supposed to win this every time. Got to leave his feet to do it. We've seen him do that before, and he does. Now, you see the flag coming in? I'll show you what he called. You keep your eyes here. Uh, They're calling block in the back right there. Um, We'll play it forward and then rewind it again. A couple things, if you look, the defender holds up. If you look, the defender actually holds up and uh, does not push. And the other thing is, too, if you look, uh, it's pretty clear he didn't trip him. Um, From there, you can see, I mean, defender's running downhill. Uh, Defender, uh, uh, the uh, receiver pulled up, didn't push him. You know, his feet are clear. He didn't trip him. So it's just a bad call. Looked like blocking the back, but not really a block in the back. So it brought a touchdown back. Uh, TV Copley actually showed you another angle of what they called a block in the back there, and you can see he didn't push him, so it's just a bad call. So part of the deal for him is the ability to catch the ball and become that ball carrier right away as well. And he's sure-handed. He catches the ball really well. We saw it throughout the year. They confidently throw the ball to him. So he's just versatile. You don't have to give him the ball in the backfield on zone read stuff. You can figure out other ways to get him either on the edge or in space. Sometimes you can throw it to him. Here's Cotton Hill against Auburn. Speed sweep wide side of the field. Quarterback reads the linebacker, gives. You've got an angle. You've got to outrun him and then split him for a first down. We'll go over this one quickly. You go back to the pre-snap. Auburn gives them a 4-2 nickel. And it's the right call. Scouting has done their job. Ball on the left hash over the wide side of the field. Everybody's got big cushion over there, so it's just a matter of outrunning somebody. So you make this call. Quarterback's reading play side linebacker at the time of the mesh. If linebacker is head up or backside, you're going to give, and here he's head up the QB, so you're going to give it. Two defenders running have to figure out a way to beat him to the edge. He's got to figure out a way to beat them. Who's going to win it? And the running back is always expected to win this. But that's why you're not a starting running back in the SEC unless you're capable. And he really easily beats these guys outside by three yards. And now it's a matter of knowing where the stick is. And here's a deal where a defender's coming down block, going to try to close you out and force you back into his teammates, which he does. But instinctively, uh, Hill takes on the contact, knows where it's coming from, leaves his feet, going to dive for that first down stick. And it's a really nice run. Here they've motioned him across the formation from out lineup at receiver, going to bring him back across and try to outrun him to the edge, and he does it again. Again, the speed that it requires to do this um, is pretty special, especially for a guy who's as thick and and as big as Kylan Hill is. So if we go back and look, again, it's a similar read, just out of a different formation and motion, where they're sending him here, and quarterback's going to look up and read play side linebacker. This is all about game plan. You know, formationing to try to get them out of position where you can then get a little bit of an edge for your running back. The reason you call it again is you're going to read that play side. If he goes out, quarterback keeps. If he stays head up, which he is right here at the mesh point, you're going to go ahead and give it and depend on somebody to block on the edge. So 
Linebacker reads it pretty well. Has an angle, but it's just going to straight up get outrun. You know, sets him up, gets the angle, and then again, that kind of you're just born with ability to know where and when the contact is coming so that you can beat that. And he's beat him and makes a first. Another one in this game against Auburn, they're trying to figure out ways to get him on the edge, and this time they pitch it to him. He's on the edge, does not get a block in the slot, makes a guy miss, though, and turns he turns his play into something that did not look like there was a whole lot there, and I'll show you why. And that's a key, making that safety miss. So regardless of what the read is, let's just kind of look at what he does. So again, you're going to get pitched from the quarterback. You know, if he's reading end or if he's reading um, – Inside linebacker, that's the right deal because what you have on play side linebacker is a receiver who's supposed to block him. So one of those two guys was the read for the QB who stayed in that says, hey, go ahead and pitch it right here. So by design, you're blocking here. Watch him get blown up. It's right here. A more physical defender has blown up your block and is going to kind of squeeze you outside. The other thing is this is a really aggressive, good safety for Auburn number 24 coming downhill to make this play. And what I said, you know, the whole time, the first one there, whether he's supposed to be blocked or not, it's a running back's job expectation in the SEC. You're starting running back. You make that guy miss every time. You're not to get tackled. Realistic or not, that's the job. And watch what he does. I mean, he just makes a miss. And that's the whole thing right there is making something out of nothing. It's such a huge luxury when you have a back who can do that. And the other thing is, too, so we see – the, the the speed and the ability to get to the edge. Now, what are you going to do with defenders who are there to hit you? Can you be physical enough and run through some? And he's able to. Here's that same quick pitch into the boundary against Alabama. Alabama defends it really well. Looks like it could either be a, you know, a misread or something by QB. You don't really know. But he makes something out of nothing. And again, you know, these are examples of how did he do it? He did it by making the first guy miss. Now, Again, what is a quarterback's read? It could be a misread right here because you're not blocked on the edge of line of scrimmage back into the boundary. If if it's not a misread, then it's a um, bust on the blocking. If he's reading play side linebacker to give him that, it's hard to know what the call is, what the assignment is. And what we do know is that Calhoun is pulling right side to left on last year's team. And so he's either coming out here to get that defensive end or he's pulling to turn up on the linebacker. If he's pulling to turn up on the linebacker, you would think then he would be the read. Again, if we're just guessing on design, if he's pulling to get up to uh, play side linebacker, then the read would be the end. And if the end went outside, the quarterback would keep here. If the end stayed inside or hesitated, then you would pitch. However, He's getting knocked off of his route pulling because of penetration by 49. So that could potentially be it. Maybe he didn't get there in time to block him. Therefore, late just turns up to look to hit somebody. Again, it's hard to know the call, but either he's getting knocked off his pull or it's a misread by the QB, one or the other, because you're about to get him blown up, right? So what are you going to do? One-on-one. Open field, defensive end, who's four yards deep. You've gotten a pitch, and he's on you. Not only handle the pitch, but then do this. Strong enough to one arm, keep him off of you, and get free. That's really just an excellent job by a running back. Then we talked about it. Physical enough, take on a tackler, but don't go down. So not only make the first miss, you make the second one miss, and it turns into a big run. All right, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, let me know about it. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I'm Radio Wyatt. So let me know, and thanks for watching and following along on Facebook. We're trying to get 10,000 likes, follows on Facebook, not far away. So if you haven't already, facebook.com slash Radio Wyatt. Please follow the page there. And on YouTube, approaching closer and closer to 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. So please subscribe if you haven't already. would really appreciate that on the YouTube channel. And uh, hit the bell on YouTube so that you know when there's a new video that's been posted. And again, thanks to Renaissance Bank for always sponsoring these videos. They are the best bank in the South. I'm telling you that from personal experience. Myself, you can't go wrong. When you go on into Renaissance, tell them I sent you. All right? And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See you around the corner. See you.